the Steinway family tree. Today we look at the three brands, Essex, Boston, and Steinway. We're gonna take a listen, we're gonna play them, and we're gonna talk about, are these all just a great concept for marketing, or are these quality instruments? Hi, Patrick Marr with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please check out our other YouTube videos, subscribe to our YouTube channels, leave us comments, like our videos, sign up for notifications. We love the support and love to interact with you guys. Today, the question is, is Steinway just a great marketing company or do they build quality instruments from top to bottom all the way through the Boston and the Essex line? And while the question is a kind of loaded question, um, and you'll see lots of people supporting arguments on both sides of Steinway makes the best instruments of all time, all the way to Steinway is a has-been, and they're overpriced. There's, there's arguments all in between, and probably the truth lies somewhere in the middle. And so we're going to kind of talk about that. We're going to be talking about kind of the dangers of what you do when you buy an OEM product. Um, and so OEM is, is manufactured products that another company goes to another manufacturer and says, hey, can you build this for us? Um, and so Steinway has done that. Um, Steinway did this in the early 90s. They realized their product was getting a little expensive for everybody. Um, they, were, they were almost unattainable for the, for the average consumer um, with prices going very close to six figures and surpassing six figures on a lot of their line. Um, it was almost too much of a dream to own a Steinway for a long time. And there was a lot of used products hitting the markets, and there still is a whole bunch of used Steinways, some of them remanufactured, refurbished, rebuilt, in amazing condition that compete at a lower price point than a brand new Steinway from a Steinway dealer. Um, and so it, it, there's a lot of arguments to be made that say, did Steinway introduce these lower price products to compete with other manufacturers where you could get a very quality instrument from Kawhi or from Yamaha or from Baldwin, these, these companies that really offered high quality in the 90s um, and before, and people were often looking away from Steinway and saying, hey, I, yeah, Steinway makes a great instrument, but it's so the cost is so prohibitive that I can't buy that. And so they looked at alternatives. Um, what Steinway did in the early 90s was look for two product segments that they could introduce um, at lower price points. And we're going to be looking at all those today. We're looking at the Essex, um, which today is manufactured by Pearl River out of China. We're going to look at the Boston, which I'm sitting next to here. Um, and the Boston is manufactured by Kawai um, out of Japan. And uh, Kawai makes an, an amazing instrument. Um, but, th but they designed the Boston for Steinway. Uh, and then we're going to be looking at a Steinway. The one that we're going to be looking at is one of those that has been completely kind of redone. It's, it's an it's a older Steinway that someone put all Steinway parts in and really did the, the works on it to make it a, a really high quality instrument. And so we're going to be looking at all those um, and listening to them because they're, it's really interesting once you sit down and start playing some of these. And, and I've had the opportunity being here at a piano store to play a lot of Essex and I've played a lot of Boston's and I've played a lot of Steinways um, and from different eras, from different years. Um, but one thing I can say is I've enjoyed the quality on almost every single one of them. Um, I think they make a quality instrument. I, I don't think you are risking buying something that uh, is not going to last. Um, I think they've chosen well when they've chosen the companies that they do go towards. Um, so when they do go OEM, they go to Pearl River and they say, hey, we want this built, but we want these modifications. When they go to Kauai, they say, we want this built, but to our modifications. Um, and then they build the Steinway, of course, out of New York or out of Germany. Um, the U.S. made or the German made Steinways, um, and they of course stand behind the products that they manufacture. When you think about the implications of buying something that is built for them, um, sometimes you you realize that hey, I'm maybe paying a little extra here because of branding. Um, Steinway carries one of the strongest brandings of of any product category you can think of. When the when you walk to someone randomly in the street and say, "What is Steinway?" They will almost certainly know that it is a piano manufacturer. It's one of the best ones, and it's very expensive. Um, what, is that, what does that mean for the average consumer? That means they know that they're going to have to pay a premium for it, and having one is a status. Um, and so what Steinway did, and I, it, was a, it was almost a genius marketing move. It is a genius marketing move, is they've convinced a whole bunch of people that Essex and Boston's 
are part of the Steinway family. Um, and they stand behind that. They let you trade them in and move up the line. Um, but are you getting a Steinway caliber instrument or are you overpaying for a Pearl River and a Kauai? And I'll let you guys do a lot of research on that. Um, and also check out pricing, look at competitive uh, strategies that a lot of these marketing companies do. Um, but I did want to just point out that you're looking at two companies sp splitting the profit on, on one item. So when you're thinking about buying a Boston piano, I would highly consider testing it against Kawhi's and seeing the pricing difference and seeing um, a lot of the feature differences. And if you're looking at Essex, I highly recommend looking at Pearl River and seeing what a little extra would get you, what a little bit less can get you. Um, because there are, this is, this is the age of information and you're here on the internet checking out our videos. I believe there's a strong case to do either of those two things and stick with your Steinway family brand products. I think, um, I think that is a strong messaging that says, I have a Steinway product in my house. I have something that says Steinway on it. Um, and there's value in that. And, and a lot of the times people um, dismiss that value um, because it is based in marketing. Um, on the other hand, there's quality instruments coming out of a whole bunch of manufacturers. Um, Kauai, Pearl River make those, make really quality instruments. And I highly recommend checking out a lot of these and being informed and doing your research. There's a lot, a lot of information online. Don't want to talk you guys to death. I wanted to play these instruments, so we are going to get to playing them. Um, but be listening because it's interesting when you hear some of the tonal similarities that do come from the family, from the progression of moving from Essex to Boston to Steinway. Um, but it, you also start hearing a little bit of boost from the sound as well, um, a little bit more sustain, a little bit more versatility throughout the line. But see if you guys pick up on that. Um, these instruments are all a little bit different sized. Um, and also some of them are from uh, different eras. Like I said, that Steinway is an older one. Um, the Boston and the Essex are going to be newer. Um, but let's take a listen. Let's see what it sounds like and let us know what you guys think.
amazing sounding instruments. Again, I really don't think you go go wrong with any of these choices. I do think there is a strong marketing branding behind the Steinway family. And I think it's it's deeply rooted in our perception of value and our perception of Steinway being this, this amazing on a pedestal, this is what a piano can be. I highly recommend checking out other pianos as well. Um, it's real easy to go down tunnel visioned on Steinway um, because they do have that strong, strong messaging. Um, also, I wanted to go over why the, why, another reason why this family exists, why the Steinway family exists, um, and it was for universities. And so you might have been like, oh, this university has a whole bunch of Boston and a whole bunch of Essex in it, it must be a great piano. And yes, it is a good piano, um, but there are multiple reasons why a university is considered um, selecting Boston's or Essex, and it's part of this, we're a Steinway school. And so Steinway does offer a discount to universities and to school districts um, for their more expensive, bigger Steinways. They say, hey, you want that nine foot Steinway D on your, on your uh, performing arts center stage? You want that seven foot Steinway in your recording studio? If you want these things, they do offer them with a discount, but they say well, you need to have, um, and I believe the percentage is 90% Steinway instruments in your university, in your institution, in your school district. And they allow you to fulfill that 90% with products of the Steinway family. So a lot of the times a school budget's like, we only have X amount of money and we want one of those expensive Steinways and then they'll fill in the rest with Essex and they'll fill in the rest with uh, Boston and they'll get good quality instruments. Like I said, they do make great, great instruments, um, but that is a lot of the times why you see an overwhelming amount of Bostons in uh, universities and an overwhelming amount of Essex and practice studios around the country. Um, very good instruments, but they are going after that all Steinway school mentality where they get the discount on the big products um, and can kind of fill in the rest there. Um, also, you, you do also get um, the benefit of, they say you can trade this in 100% value towards the next iteration of Steinways if you want to in 10 years trade in your Boston for a Steinway, you can do that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed listening to them and, and definitely I highly recommend playing any of these because um, every one of them plays a little different, sounds a little different, especially with Steinway. Amazing products coming out new, but there's such a plethora of used Steinways that have been turned into new Steinways. Um, Steinway in the recent years, what I've heard is um, they've really been promoting this Stein was um, mentality, which I, I really kind of push against because um, it's them saying, don't look at used products. Those are has-beens. Those are from the 1920s, 1940s, 1960s. And they put these labels on um, on their own products from the past and say, oh, you don't want to look at that. It's old. It's too old. It's falling apart. Um, and there's some really good opportunities to get a good piano at a great price um, when you do look at the used products that, are, that have been brought up into better condition. There's a lot of, there's a lot of companies that that is their primary source of, of uh, business is to rebuild old Steinways and get them in great playing condition. Um, a lot of these technicians around the country are amazing, amazing, accomplished technicians that will do this. And uh, you, can, you can really save a buck. You can find a great instrument. Um, we work with te technicians around the country and we try to find these. They're really gems um, because they're, they're old, aged wood. They sound great. They look great. Um, and they're significantly more affordable than a brand new Steinway. Um, so just make sure you're checking out your options. That was one of the reasons I wanted to do this video. The family name is very strong from Steinway to the Boston to the Essex, um, but a lot of the times you can find a product similarly priced that you might like more. Um, and just wanted to bring that to the awareness of this, this strong marketing message from Steinway. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, these are great instruments to play, great instruments to own. Let us know if you have any questions. I'm Patrick Marr. You can find us at alamomusic.com or if you're here in San Antonio. We have someone on our website available to chat. If you have any questions, they can get you in contact with an expert. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. We really love to bring you videos like this and similarly titled videos, similarly uh, marketed videos where we can find a, a, a topic that you guys might relate to. If you have any suggestions, leave us comments. We love to interact. Thanks for watching.